Cuphead is a run-and-gun game with an emphasis on boss fights released for Xbox One and Windows PC on September 29, 2017. The game was published and developed by Studio MDHR Entertainment. The story follows two brothers, Cuphead and Mugman, who are enjoying a sunny day when the brothers wander into a casino and start playing craps. Cuphead is on a roll when the devil appears and challenges Cuphead to one final game with the devil putting his casino up for grabs if he and his brother put their souls on the line. This is why you don't deal with the devil. No pun intended. Unfortunately, Cuphead rolls snake eyes and loses. He and his brother plead with the devil not to hand over their souls, and he agrees. He says get the contracts of those who lost their souls and he'll let them go. Maybe. If there's anything that should be taken from this, it's quit while you're ahead. So the brothers have no choice but to collect the contracts and their quest begins. After a visit from Elder Kettle. Cuphead consists of 6 run and gun stages and 19 boss levels. The run and gun stages are self-explanatory, get from point A to point B without dying, defeat the enemies, and collect coins. The boss stages are like gauntlets, you have to beat them in one sitting and there are no checkpoints. The bosses transition into another form when they take enough damage. The difficulty shows not necessarily how hard they are, but how many forms you'll have to fight. Simple has one last form but no contract, while regular holds a contract if you win. Going back to the difficulty, there's some misunderstanding about it. I've seen people complain that the game's too hard. No, that's not the case. The case is you have to learn from your mistakes and prepare properly. And you're going to be dying a lot, so get used to it. Going back to the game, the coins you collect come into play at Pork Rinds Emporium. You can buy new weapons and upgrades from no damage from dash to increase life but weaker weapons. Another power-up that has to be earned is special attacks. They can be found in mausoleums by beating pink ghosts via parrying. While on topic of parrying, each level contains a pink object. A successful parry increases your power by one, and when you get five, you unleash a more powerful move. Parrying does take a little getting used to, but it can make a difference. The controls are responsive and tight. You get plenty of control of Cuphead's movement and it doesn't feel slippery. Stopping is also easy as well in case you need a more precise landing. To make the game a little easier to play, change the shoe button from X to right trigger. The graphics do capture the look of 1930s cartoons, from the watercolor backgrounds to the grainy filter each cartoon has gotten. The characters also look like actual cartoon characters from the 1930s. Now that I look at this, I wouldn't be surprised if the same team made an actual animated film in that style. The soundtrack is also well done, and no two stages share the same song. The map is also well done and not overly complex to navigate, and there's plenty of characters to interact with. Some will give you coins, some will give you tips. The biggest highlight about the gameplay is that the game is non-linear. You can skip the run and gun stages, but you can't skip the boss battles. Despite all the good stuff I've talked about, are there flaws? Yes, there are. For starters, the game lacks variety. There are no non-boss flying stages and having an emphasis on boss fights is a little bizarre. That's usually an alternate mode in a game that's unlocked. Another problem is the intro and cutscenes. It would have been nice if they were animated and to have voice acting to keep the authentic look of the game itself. While not a major issue, online co-op would have been nice. The bosses, while impressive, are also unbalanced. Some are easier to beat than others, even on regular difficulty. Overall, Cuphead is an impressive game, despite the flaws. If you got the patience and a friend to play with, give it a go. Cuphead gets 4 stars out of 5.